This is Aaron Freed with Blue Ribbon Flies in West Yellowstone, Montana. And today we're going to be tying our new uh, Prospector streamer. Uh, there's two different color versions of this fly. We do an olive and white version and a yellow and brown. And today we're going to be tying the yellow and brown version. We're starting with a size 8 Dairiki 710 hook and 6 uh brown uh, uni thread. It's called Camel actually. Um, or dark brown works great too. And we're going to start out with some eyes. These are called Ball's Eyes. Um, this is the 532nd size with a nickel finish and a red eye. And just tie those on with some figure eight wraps oh, about a quarter inch behind the hook eye or so. And typically just tie them on, on top and then I like, I don't uh, prefer to just have them on the bottom. Um, if you want to have them on the top and have the hook right up, you sure can do that too. Uh, and then we'll just uh, put that thread just behind those eyes. And now we're going to add some crystal flash. Uh, I take about six strands each of copper and gold crystal flash. And I tie them in um, on the side of the hook facing me. And then pull them back and wrap them down the other side of the hook. It kind of flares them out a little bit. And then trim all that flash so it's about, oh, two and a half, three times the length of the hook shank. Then we're going to tie in a rabbit strip. This is a yellow rabbit strip uh, with brown barring. And we're going to tie that in just behind the eyes as well. Go ahead and get that good and secure on there. And that should be about the same length as all that, all that flash that's in there. There we go. And typically take my zappa gap and put just a little little dab of that right on there to keep that rabbit strip in place. I'm going to take a brown marabou blood quail and make it about even with the bend of the hook. Cinch that down right on top and then cinch it down just in front of those eyes as well. Go ahead and try and clip those butts about as close as you can. We'll finish wrapping that down in a second. I'm going to take a second marabou blood coil and tie this on underneath about the same length as the one on top. Again, do a few wraps behind the eyes. Move the thread in front. We'll tie that down right behind the eye or in front, behind the hook eye in front of the dumbbell eyes. Clip that off. Just kind of get some of those butts out of the way. And now we're going to take one more uh, marabou blood quill. Find a nice one here. And we're going to tie that right on top to kind of finish off that that head, and just kind of spread those fibers around a little bit so they cover up some of those thread wraps. Go ahead and clip those butts off. And then just finish wrapping the head down. The head gets a little big and bulky, but fish don't particularly seem to mind. So we'll go ahead and Whip finish that. Clip that stray fiber out of the way. Trim the thread. And then typically go ahead and just coat that that head with uh, some Zappa Gap or whatever cement you like. That will keep the uh, keep that head from unraveling any when those big toothy browns grab this fly. And there's the prospector.